Good morning and welcome to another video. Now today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm revisiting a location we last came to in May this year. In one of my earlier videos, you may remember, we visited the Bevercoats Colliery Branch. And about a mile or so, after leaving the junction at Booton Junction on the High Marlon Test Track, we came across Boot and Brake Tunnel. Now at the time I had no decent, you know, torch with me. So I've come back down to revisit the location and have a better look inside and we'll make a short video out of it. So let's see you down there. So if you saw my previous visits to this line, um, I'll drop a link below, but you may remember it was not as overgrown as this. So that's because we were just coming out of spring and now to turn this around, it's like a completely different place. It's like a, it's what I like to call a jungle. In the far distance, I can see the tunnel approaching. We're not going any further than the tunnel, but we're gonna have a look inside, hopefully shine a decent torch in the 350 yard length of it and see what there is and what there isn't. So I'll see you down there. So we're now at the southern portal of the tunnel. Now this tunnel was constructed using the cut and cover method. Whereas, there's your cutting, so it would have been similar to that. They'd have built the brick walls and the supports and the mouths, and then it was covered by concrete, a concrete arched roof. Now this was because the, uh, the, the farmland and the farm owners, they wanted to keep a constant flow of fields going across the top. They didn't want their fields uh, disturbing by this cutting. So it allowed them, you know, clear passage across the top to carry on the crops. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, let's head on inside. So as you can see, brick archway, brick walls, We've just been looking at that huge crack up there. Um, the walls are at a slight slope. I don't know if we can do it justice. But if we look at it like that, you can just see a slight angle on both sides. If we look up there, we can see the concrete arch. It's very black, some numbers there. It's like number 57, not sure what that means. Uh, a little bit more just there. So all the track's gone. There's the first recess. Now they're staggered on both sides. Uh, all the way from either end of the tunnel. I don't know if you can make out the imprints of where the sleepers were as well. It's a real shame that the track had to be lifted. that was used for some kind of signalling purposes or it'd be for carrying cables, wouldn't it? Yeah. Look at the salt stained roof. So you see the the cable hangers are still situated all the way along. Uh, 
the wall is clearly concrete covered at this point. No sign of anything like a sleeper or a rail anyway. So about a third of the way up we've got this. It looks like a drain cover of some sort that's just hanging there. It's hanging off one of the old uh, cable carrying hangers. So yeah, that looks like that's been there a long time. But to me, I mean, if anyone wants to suggest what else it could be, but I can imagine that would have been somewhere being used as a drain cover. Interesting. Advocates Branch and Tunnel that was uh, constructed and then opened in 1961. There was a brief period where the tunnel and line was closed, 1961 in January, right through to August 1965. There are stories of the wagons being stored inside this tunnel and probably further along the branch line during this period. Um, not seen any images of this, but I spoke to a couple of people that have confirmed so. The tunnel itself is known locally as Mummy's Tunnel. The official title of the tunnel is Boot and Brake Tunnel. So heading south from Bevercuts Colliery, we'd pass through this tunnel and we'd join onto the main line at Boot and Junction. Now that was the former Lancashire Derbyshire East Coast Railway running between Chesterfield Marketplace Station all the way through to Lincoln. This junction has now been removed, the line is severed, there's no track work at all on this branch. The last coal working from the colliery was on June 18, 1993. Until there was a glimmer of hope in 2012 when Network Rail decided to use it as a tunnel training facility for on track machinery. The plans never came to fruition. The plan was abandoned mainly due to the fact that the tunnel and part of the branch needed rebalancing and I suppose it wasn't cost effective. So, due to this, the track was subsequently lifted uh, in 2017 18 and the branch is no more than what we see today. Okay, so we're about two thirds of the way through. So there's the southern portal down there. Northern portal in that direction. So let's finish it off and see if we can find anything else.
So here I am at the northern portal. You can just see the pin of light in the centre of the screen on the southern portal. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this video. We've got another tunnel video coming up soon. We're off to Speak Hill Tunnel in Derbyshire, which is also on the Lancashire Derby East Coast Railway. And also, lucky enough, in two weeks' time, to be going to Catesby Tunnel down in um, Northamptonshire. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Look forward to seeing you next time. Take care, bye bye.